A very disturbing one coming from France. A history teacher who discussed cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad with his students was beheaded and the suspect was shot dead later by the police in Paris. The attack took place in the street in front of the school where the victim worked. The gruesome incident happened in a suburb around 40 kilometers from Paris. The attacker, armed with a knife and an air gun, was shot dead a few streets away from where the teacher was beheaded. The attacker shouted, Allahu Akbar, or God is greatest, as the police confronted him. A cry often heard in terrorist attacks. The French anti-terrorism prosecutor has opened an investigation concerning the murder with a suspected terrorist motive. The police said that the teacher had received threats after discussing the cartoons with his class about 10 days ago. The depiction of Prophet Muhammad is considered blasphemous by Muslims. And according to police, the parent of a student had filed a complaint against a teacher. The suspected killer did not have a child at the school. French President Emmanuel Macron visited the school where the teacher worked and met with the staff. He denounced what he called an Islamist terror attack and urged the country to stand united against extremism. One of our countrymen, whose name I won't state publicly here tonight because the prosecutor will be speaking in the next hours and he will go into the facts and details of what happened here. But he was assassinated because he was teaching, because he was teaching his students about the freedom of expression, the freedom to believe or not believe. Our compatriot was a victim of an Islamist terrorist attack. The parent of a pupil described the teacher who was beheaded as a super kind and a super nice man. The teacher is said to have asked his Muslim pupils to leave the classroom out of respect because he wanted to show the class a cartoon of the Prophet Muhammad. D'après mon fils, il était super sympa, super aimable, super gentil. La polémique qu'il y a eu, comme quoi il aurait fait sortir les enfants musulmans, mon fils m'a dit que c'était pas juste pour les préserver, c'était pur, par pure gentillesse, quoi. Parce qu'il devait montrer une caricature du prophète de l'islam. Il a tout simplement dit aux enfants, aux enfants musulmans, sortez, j'ai pas envie que, que ça vous fasse mal au cœur. C'est ce que mon fils m'a dit. Ils sont sortis, puis voilà, quoi. Earlier, we spoke with investigative journalist Mikey K from Paris. Listen in to what he describes as how France is now dealing with the Islamic fundamentalism, while Macron also maintains that the country must unite against extremism. You know, look, there are over 65 million um, people in France, and immigrants make up nearly 10% of that figure, uh, which is over 6.5 million. So when you look at the amount of incidents that actually involve Islamic extremism in France, uh, outside of the quite unique nature of the Charlie Hebdo attacks um, and the Paris attacks uh, in the following November. Um, it's it's re very rare and very unusual. When you look at it as a percentage of uh, the 6.5 million migrants that are in France, um, it's, a, it's a very, very, very small amount compared to the other instability that is going on by organic people with inside France, Gilles Jeunes and, and the protests that we see almost uh, every other weekend. I've lived in France for nearly four years now, uh, and almost every weekend there is a protest of some sort um, which heads to or from uh, Place de République, which is the, the heart of um, protest in France uh, and in Paris. So um, there are a lot of immigrants, uh, nearly 10% make up the population of, of, of France. Um, and to sort of paint the picture of uh, migrants not understanding liberal values is just is just completely um, taken out of context based on um, a very 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 minute and small percentage of attacks that have gone on uh, by people that have um, uh, claimed those attacks in the name of uh, extreme Islam. Look, um, liberty, uh, equality, and fraternity is the national motto of France. And um, having lived in France for nearly four years, there's nothing uh, to indicate to me that people who come to France, uh, of which nearly 10% uh, is made up of migrants, uh, don't adhere to those values. There are a very, very small percentage 
um, who uh, commit atrocities, as do the organic folk in France uh, who, commit aside homicide, who commit homicides and murder. So um, I don't think we can take uh, the um, atrocities that Islamic extremists conducted with the Charlie Hebdo attacks uh, or the following, number of the uh, following November of the Paris attacks uh, and literally can't blanch that with every single migrant that comes to Europe and comes to France. Um, I can quite convincingly say that, that the significant percentage of migrants that come to France do abide by France's motto, which is um, liberty, equality and fraternity.